If you've been diagnosed by a doctor with atrial fibrillation, you can turn on AFib history to see an estimate of how frequently your heart is in this arrhythmia. You'll need an Apple Watch Series 4 or later, including Apple Watch SE with Watch OS 9 or later. You also need the latest version of iOS 16 on your iPhone. AFib history is for users age 22 and older. On your iPhone, tap Browse in the Health app, then tap Heart. Scroll down to the Get More from Your Health section, and under AFib history, tap Setup. Read the brief introduction and tap Get Started. Next, you'll need to enter your birth date and confirm that your doctor has diagnosed you with AFib. Otherwise, this feature isn't for you. Tap Continue. On the next few screens, you'll read more about how AFib history works, the results you may see, other life factors you can track to see if they might affect your AFib, and five things you should know about AFib history tracking. When you're done, AFib history is automatically added to your favorites in the Summary tab. Results will appear after about a week of wearing your Apple Watch for at least 12 hours a day. Find AFib history in your favorites or in the Browse tab under Heart. You can also tap Show Life Factors below the results to understand how key factors may influence your condition. And that's how to track your AFib history.